In June 1485, the Hungarian king Matyas, called Corvinus, or the Raven, marched victorious into Vienna, and he would rule from the Austrian capital for his last five years. Sometime soon after, he must have visited nearby Bratislava, just downstream, which he called Pozon, and his German-speaking subjects called Pressburg. Some two decades earlier, he had founded a university there called the Istropolitan Academy, or Universitas Istropolitana, a term that comes from a Greek phrase meaning city on the Danube. If he visited his palaces at Buda, which wasn't yet Budapest, or Visegrad, located near the spot where the Danube turns south toward Buda, or if he visited the nearby archbishop at Estragon, he surely stopped on the way at the Istropolitan, located on Venturska Street in Old Town Bratislava. It had been riddled with controversy, and charges of heresy or conspiracy had been leveled at several officials and professors. Indeed, it was to close upon the death of Matyas five years later, but in 1485 it remained a major center of Renaissance learning, on a par with the great universities of Prague and Kraków. A visit to these sites downstream from Vienna might well have involved an entire royal party, including the Italian-born Queen Beatrix, and perhaps even her music master, Pietro Bono. And the program might have started out with Maestro Bono's own melody, La Magdalena, played by the composer himself on the lute. Maestro Bono must have known that oldies need to be part of any successful musical program. The songs of Franco-Flemish composer Guillaume Dufay had been popular at the court of Matyash in Buda for the better part of half a century, and Bonjour, Bon Moi would have been a perfect selection. Roughly translated, it means Good day, and have a nice month, too. So it wishes the monarch good health, happiness, and success in future endeavors. And also, to be sure, wine and women. Matyash may have wished Beatrix would take that line as a reference to herself, despite her consort's reputation as an energetic womanizer. Still, relations had recently been testy over succession issues. One hopes they could simply enjoy the beauty of Defy's music. For a finale, what could have been better than one of the greatest hits of 1485, composed by rising star Heinrich Isaac? <laughs> That young composer's departure from a one-year gig at the court at Innsbruck had occasioned the composition of his madrigal Innsbruck, ich muss dich lassen, Innsbruck, I now must leave thee, which turned out to be his best-known work, despite a productive later career. A simple change of Innsbruck to Pressburg, the German name for Bratislava at the time, and we have a perfect finale. So much the better, since the court at Innsbruck was frequently the residence of various members of the Habsburg clan, which Matyas had just pushed out of Vienna. So we suppose that Maestro Bono closed the festivities at the Istropolitan Academy with Pressburg, ich muss dich lassen. Oh.
This imaginative recreation of the festivities of Matyash and Beatrix at the Istropolitan may be found on the CD Voices in Bratislava, along with other musical selections linked with sites you may visit in Old Town Bratislava, now the capital of Slovakia. The CD is available as a download from cdbaby.com, as a CD at Forum Music in Bratislava, just down the stairs from the Kapucinska tram stop and around the corner, address Navrsku Street Number 1, or through the mail by clicking the Buy It Now button on the website you see on your screen. That will take you to PayPal for a secure credit card transaction. Enjoy Voices in Bratislava, either as a prelude to your visit to town or afterwards as a memento. Now enjoy one of our piano selections, the first one by Brahms, while we show you the rest of the table of contents of Voices in Bratislava. As a coda, we cannot resist giving you a little bit of Geza Dusik. Hey, 
človek plažený A preto ja sa nikdy ženiť nebudem Ja sam nikdi ženit, ne budem. Vred ja sam nikdi ženit, ne budem. Vred ja sam nikdi ženit, ne budem. 